work until we get the right one in there, you know, until we get the right guys playing at, at, at a consistent level. And then, so that's what you're looking for is the consistency. And how are you going to know until until game well, day? You, you, I guess? You, well, you know when you know certain guys step up. We got a bunch of young guys, mm -hmm. so young guys need to get their feet wet. And you always got to be careful with injuries. So you got to you know when positions aren't solidified, you know you got to keep your options open. So that's what we're doing. It's part of the rotation, just because some some guys are better in run scheme and other ones are better in pass scheme. Is that kind of? Oh no 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 no. Okay. Part of the rotation is that no one's really solidified their spot. You know, so we are we are competing. We got guys that we recruited with with similar body types and athleticism that, that we know we they can play inside or outside. So we're trying to we're trying to solidify those five spots. We're making them compete for it. You know, we can't continue having certain penalties that we're having. You know, and and part of that is finding the right guys to uh, to step up and take ownership and and uh, earn their spot. Do you, have, you, do you have anybody pushing for, you know, that group looks like you have a group of seven. Do you have anybody pushing, you know, up from the bottom at this point, or is it just that seven? That That's seven right now. What what do you think of uh, KC and Joe Brown playing guard? Yeah, you know, I, I thought it was I thought it was a, a good uh, first start from. It was a tough, tough opponent, Virginia Tech. You know, again, Bud Foster and, and that defense, they're very difficult scheme-wise. They're very aggressive. And I thought that, uh, I thought they fought hard during the game. There's things that we got to fix. There's certain things they got to fix that they got to improve on. But for the most part, you know, you walk out of there with, uh, what was it, one sack, you know? And, uh, you know, they, they held their own pretty well. They got to improve, though. They got to do a lot better. Did you see any tipped passes? Huh? Did you see any tipped passes? I did on not. Film? I did so that not. was obviously yeah. an improvement. Yep. Is that something that you're happy with how they? Yeah, you know, tip, tip balls is, 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 a, is a big thing when guys aren't rushing, that we make sure we attack them, you know? Those two Clemson defensive ends, I think, have eight sacks, like 18 tackles for losses between them. Can you talk about them and, and sort of the challenge they're going to bring to your guys? Sure, great players, uh, both of them. You know, they're big and they're fast and they're athletic. You know, both of them can can drop into zone coverage and, and cover guys in their areas. Um, they're smart football players and they and they bring a, a big time challenge to us. You know, just because of all the stuff they 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 uh, they do in the perimeter. Those guys are really good football players. James, with the yards per carry average right now, with Joe and, and, and Mark, it's obviously not where you want it to be. Is it something that they're doing? Is it really more the offensive line play? What are you, what are you seeing, I guess? Yeah, I think it's, a, it's first of all, it's a unit deal, and it's my fault, first of all. So it, it, it execution's on me. But, um, but yeah, a part of it is is what we talked about earlier, you know, with guys, you know, stepping up and trying to make, uh, get their spot. In the lineup, you know, uh, you know, I think I think our game against Virginia Tech was a smash mouth game, and I think that you know uh, the running backs ran very well. They ran very hard. You know, there were certain runs, there were three yard runs, but it put us on third and third and three. You know, uh, they were key, and, and there was times we were outnumbered in the box. They were checking at the last second and loading the box, and and our guys handled it well at times. But part of it is getting that group uh, together and, you know, strong. You know, and I, I, I like where we're at right now. James, James, on that same topic, Mark's per carry average, probably less than what he expected as a freshman. Is that purely a byproduct of blocking, or are there holes maybe that he's not finding? What, what, what have you seen on From tape? the beginning of the year to this point? Yeah. I think there's both. Mm -hmm. uh, I think uh, the last, you know, several weeks he's done really well with, with understanding the scheme. But... It's tough to say too because sometimes if you see a guy who's unblocked and we're sitting there saying, well, he's not taking the right angle. Well, part of it is the player seeing the guy's unblocked and him playing football and saying, you know what, I don't think I can take this angle. I'm going to try to make a play. So, uh, but I think he's done a phenomenal job and he's got to keep pushing because the sky's the limit with him. James, number one in the country in turnover margin. Yep. You guys, and obviously the offense has something to do with that. Only one interception and one lost fumble. Uh, how important is that? And Talk about that a it's little huge. Bit. It's huge. That's you know that's something we we set out for January that we we're going to take care of the football. Uh, that we were going to be one of the best teams in the country, but not giving it up. It's all about the football. It's all about the football. It's all about the football. Uh, so that's what we talk about in our meetings. And I think the guys have answered to this point. They got to continue. I thought it was all about the coastal. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> how much how much of turnovers you know are luck though? I mean obviously you can coach ball security and everything, but just you know, just generally in football, how much of it is luck? Small percentage is luck. Okay. Yeah, the big thing is you see guys and they bad technique carrying the football or quarterback gets lazy. 
floats a ball up there. A lineman gets lazy. Ball gets tipped and goes into the secondary receiver. Goes through the receiver's hands. You know, that's all technique. It's your job, you know. James, your, your thoughts on what you've got in the tight end now that we're halfway through among that uh, quartet like, that's uh, playing? Yeah, I like the unit. You know, I think they offer some versatility. 86, 23, 5. You know, I think that, that group has done a great job. James, just Stacy's play of late, um, obviously, how much has just you seen his confidence since he's felt healthier and stronger and, and, and that's translating on the field, obviously? Yeah, that's big because he's, he's an explosive player. You know, every time he touches the ball, you know, it, there's a lot of yards there. So if he feels healthy, he's able to play with that explosion. That's big for everybody. Yeah, what's the draft? What are you guys doing to practice the penalties, the false starts? Obviously, I know cadence is a big part of that, but what, what are you guys doing specifically to try to avoid that? Oh, yeah, we got something going on. <laughs> <laughs> is, it, is it like penalizing the guys who jump? Or what do oh, you absolutely. Okay. Okay. All right, guys, last okay. question. Good in the sprints? Yep. I'm <laughs> not going to say? <laughs> okay. All right. Does, does yelling help or we're past that me. point? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks. Thanks.